Hello, it's Paul Hamilton here from UTV. There's been a lot of interest in this video, this little AR kind of timeline of me as a boy. I'm looking at really strong curriculum links between uh, then and now and that sequence and order in algorithms and a whole range of different things. So I thought I would show you how I actually created it. So we're going to use two apps today on iPad. We're going to use Keynote and AR Maker, both free. So let's get started. I created the digital assets by just putting photos and some little call outs or text on the side there. You can see they're super easy to do if you've used Keynote before. But one of the things, oh, great for our year ones or our preps or our grade twos to be actually able to take some good photos and digitize them, put them into a digital format like this so they can bring in their photos from home, um, take a photo of the photo, bring it into Keynote, have a play around with borders and call outs. And if they've got Apple pencils or even using their fingers, get them to actually include some text explaining what the photo is of, um, at what period of time uh, it was taken. Um, so really getting them to think about the past. Um, so super easy to do. Once again, if you've got Apple pencils or you've got a little stylus that they can use on an iPad, uh, makes it a little bit um, easier for them to actually handwrite. Here's me just doing a really, really quick version of it. And what I wanted to show you is actually how to get rid of that yucky white background. So what we're going to do after this, I might just delete that, and I'm going to highlight all my slides. You can do it one at a time. I'm going to go up to my paintbrush, and where it says background, I'm going to do a no fill. And what that'll do is it'll get rid of all of those different elements and just show them. I'm going to export as images. Make sure PNG is ticked and that my transparent background tab down the bottom here is turned on. When I export that, there will be this beautiful um, PNG transparent images that I can bring into AR Maker. So I've exported them. They're sitting in my camera roll. What do I do with AR Maker? Well, I'm going to open it up, AR Maker, and I'm going to press start and I'm going to create my own scene. So I'm not going to use one of their templates. I'm going to create my own scene. And what it will do is when I press start, it will look for that area. So I need to be in a nice open space. I can walk up a little bit and back a bit to make sure I've got a really nice big area to place my timeline. Then I simply tap on my screen, press new on the left hand side. And on the left hand side menu, there's a folder down the bottom. Press on the folder and that goes to your photo library. So then you just select those images that you've exported, press ticky box on the right, ticky box on the left and then place and tap on the left hand side in your gallery. You can pinch to make it bigger. You can press the little up down arrow next to place on the side and actually tilt your iPad to raise them off the ground and then press place when you want to place that image in your physical space. And then it's a case of just repeating that process. So it's been placed, it's kind of sitting there then I can press plus again. I can load up a new one from my um, gallery or from my camera roll, or if it's already in there, I can place it. I press the little up and down arrow on the right, tilt my iPad and place. And all of a sudden I've got um, a beautiful little area there. That's how I did it. Paul Hamilton here from UTB.